Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Guys, the Japanese have done it again. This is unbelievable new cancer technology, which I believe is also going to be revealing what basically is causing cancer in the first place. Now, here's the deal. Before I go on, please support the channel. Give the video a thumbs up if you appreciate the information I bring you guys and just help support this channel and share it with other people. And before I begin, I'm definitely not giving you guys any medical advice, as you probably well know. And let's just go ahead and get started, guys. What the Japanese have discovered is possibly a way to be able to detect cancer in its early stages, guys. This is huge because we actually suck at being able to do that. And usually early cancer detection is very expensive, it can be very invasive, and it's not even very accurate in the first place. This is a company called Hirotsu Bioscience. Guys, what they've been able to do, it appears that they can actually detect cancer in its early stages with this new technology, and I'm gonna show you what it is. So let's first go into what are some of the features of this new technology. Well, one, it's convenient. It's super easy, guys. It literally just takes a little sample of urine. Two, very inexpensive. Literally, early cancer detection can be so expensive, and these guys are doing it for about a hundred bucks. Highly accurate, guys. Typically, the accuracy of early cancer detection in America is less than 10%. These guys are nudging 90% accuracy, guys. This is huge. Early detection is possible. See, as it says here, early detection of cancers as early as stages zero and one according to clinical studies. So Typically, early detection between zero and one stages is so hard to be able to do. Again, expensive and invasive, and it's just very difficult. And with this new technology, I'm about to show you some details, guys, but it's so exciting because I really believe this is gonna really reveal a lot of not only what is causing cancer, but possibly even how to treat it, guys, or prevent it. And, and a lot of them actually have to do with a lot, my, with a lot of my own personal theories, and you're gonna see that as we continue to go on. Non-invasive, all it takes is basically a drop of urine, guys, which is super awesome and can detect cancers regardless of location, guys. Again, this is huge, and we're talking about endnos. And let me go into what that is, but before I do, I wanna share with you some of the cancers that they're showing that we can possibly detect in very early stages. We're talking about stomach cancer, colorectal cancer, lung cancer, breast cancer, pancreatic, liver, prostate, uterine. I mean, it just goes on and on. I mean, let's see, I don't know, gallbladder, bile, I mean, duct, kidney, bladder, it just goes on and on. It's 15 types of cancer up to date at this time. I believe it's gonna be more in the future, but that's the first aspect of it. Let's actually just move on. Um, the merits of taking early cancer uh, test. Well, basically to detect it early would be really, really good. I think the best part is also for children. It would be a, such a simple screening that a lot of kids won't have to wait till they're at stage three or four before getting treatment and maybe it won't be so drastic as far as how harmful the treatments can be. But why N nose? Guys, the N stands for nematodes. This is how they're doing it, guys. This is unbelievable because we're basically talking about parasites, guys. So check this out. If you, what they're doing is they're using a nematode or a quote unquote, a type of nematode, but a type of parasite to actually sniff out cancer. That's correct. Sniff out cancer. It appears that cancer has a smell. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of dogs that can actually sniff out cancer and even other conditions. And again, I have a lot of theories about this and I believe it's a type of gas that is being emitted, whether it's from parasites or possibly also the cancer cell itself, but that's a whole other story we'll get into that but what's interesting is that these parasites are repelled from urine that has no cancer in it these are actually right here uh, healthy people who they took their urine but the interesting thing is how the parasites are attracted to people's urine who have cancer and ultimately the way this all happened was it was a Japanese gentleman uh, a doctor who was actually doing, there was a surgery being done on somebody in regards to cancer and he noticed parasites in there and he began to realize how they're attracted to cancer, guys. And again, I've been talking about parasites for a long time, even hydrogen, because hydrogen has even shown in some studies to lower parasitic numbers. And I'll, I'll go into it more into other videos if you guys want me to do that. Go ahead and comment below and I'll talk more about it. But there is definitely a correlation, guys, between parasites and cancer. So this is really, really important. This is even why we probably shouldn't eat pork. Pork is just riddled with parasites. It's funny that even old ancient scriptures like the Bible literally said, hey, don't eat pork. But let's go into nematodes. Why using a nematode? It not only can 
it not only can achieve high precision, but also at a low cost. And guys, the ability for a nematode to smell is amazing, way more powerful than the best of dogs. You know, actually says right here, has excellent sense of smell, having one and a half times more olfactory receptors than dogs, guys. This is huge. This is gonna change the world of cancer detection and it's gonna be affordable for everyone and I absolutely love it. So let me just show you right here. What we're looking at here is all the different stages of cancer from zero all the way to stage four. These are the different methods which they use to try to detect the cancer. Um, this method can actually detect it. it. It can only do a few cancers and it's about 33% accurate at stage four, but that's about the best we've got because look at these other methods are just 0%. They can't detect at all. Stage one, this one can't detect at all. These numbers are real low, 22%, 11%. Once we get to stage two, there's a little bit more. This is still zero. Once we get to three, look, it still look how low it is at once we reach um, stage three of cancer. Now, once we reach stage four, but guys, by the time we're at stage four, it's, it's not that it's too late, but really, I mean, the cancer is really advanced and it's not a good thing. We need to detect it in its early stages, but look at end nose, guys. 100% accuracy right here at stage zero. 89.9, basically 90%, 100%, 100%, 100%, and 95.8%. Guys, this is incredible. This is, again, this is gonna change the world of not only early cancer detection, but the way that we can treat it. It's gonna be so much easier to treat people and people won't have to suffer as much, guys. And that's really, for me, ultimately what it's all about. We don't want people suffering and we want people to be able to continue to stay in our lives. I've had way too many phone calls of people who have wives and children and husbands and parents and different people who suffer from cancer. And it's honestly heartbreaking, it's so sad. And if we can catch it early, this would just totally change the game, guys. So all you need is literally a drop of urine. Now I want people to remember this. Your urine is basically your blood. So what they're really sniffing out is something that is in your blood, guys. This is the reason it's so important to keep the blood clean. This is obviously the reason I enjoy not only a good healthy diet, but hydrogen because it's amazing for the blood. And I can go into it into more detail. I just wanted to share this video with you guys today because this is incredible news. And in Japan, they're already applying this technology and it's gonna, it's obviously starting there because they're the ones who discovered it. Somebody is gonna win a Nobel Prize for this, guys. Just watch. And they might even win up to three. This is a huge discovery and I want you guys to share this with everybody out there. I want people to know about this technology and I've spoken to many doctors about it. It's funny how they always... They, they, they think I'm a quack. They're like, oh, you're just a quack. You're coming up with all this crazy stuff. And then I have to go and show them the science of it and show them that it's real. And usually when I do that, they feel kind of dumb. But they're, you know, they're always asking me, like, how do you find this information out? What shocks me is that the doctors don't know. You talk to any doctor about early cancer detection when it comes to nematodes and urine, and they're just almost going to laugh at you. And they're going to say, there's no such thing until they look it up, guys. This stuff already started being applied in Japan a year ago. So it's already been going on for a year. And so again, support the channel, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on the next video.